morning guys thank you for joining me walking with the word today um, today I want to talk about five ways um, that we can learn to walk in forgiveness five tips for walking in forgiveness and we're going to explore each of these and in some cases we're going to have a look at what the Bible has to say about forgiveness too some of them are just tips that I've kind of gleaned from experience because forgiveness is a journey that we're all on we've all been hurt at some points in our lives um, sometimes we feel hurt by society as a whole sometimes we feel hurt by our churches and sometimes we feel hurt by particular individuals and learning to walk in forgiveness is fundamental and key to learning to walk with the word so um, the five tips I'm going to explore today will hopefully help us focus and center and continue to walk in forgiveness because it's so easy to retract forgiveness so one day we can say yeah I forgive that person no problem and, and it's easy and then a few days later the unforgiveness sneaks in and the anger comes back and the bitterness comes back and we retract our forgiveness so forgiveness is not just a one-off process it's a present continuous we have to walk in forgiveness and continue to hold the forgiveness out and there are certain things that we need to do to keep that forgiveness and to walk in it so and um, the first um, tip um, is speak out forgiveness so even if you um, can't see that person even if you're not able to talk to them for whatever reason um, picture them in your mind and say to them you are forgiven I forgive you and bring them into your prayers pray for them lift them before God it's really hard to pray for someone who hurt you it's really hard to speak forgiveness to them and over them but doing that will just begin to soften your heart um, and you'll be, begin to align with their needs and think about them as a person and that's the first part of um, walking in forgiveness I think is bringing that person to God in prayer and speaking forgiveness over them second tip um, for walking in forgiveness tip number two um, if possible try and make right with the, the person this is um, really important because if you can get back into a right relationship with the person um, then the bitterness will will just go over time um, it's really hard to uh, be bitter and unforgiving about someone that you're just on good terms with and in a right loving relationship with so try and make right with them if possible um, Jesus um, gives us uh, a hint onto this in Matthew 5 24 when he says um, if you're bringing a gift to the altar and then you remember your brother has something against you leave your gift at the altar go and make right with your brother and then come back and offer the gift and there's a, a small feature of this what you sometimes miss it says if you're the one taking the gift and you realize your brother has something against you um, and we often um, say oh if someone has something against me they should be the ones to come and talk to me and we, we don't go and make the relationship it right but I think what Jesus is challenging us to do here is even if you're the person who um, is um, on that, the other side of this relationship you still have a responsibility so I think we're called to be proactive um, if there's a broken relationship if we have something against someone else or if they have something against us do our best to fix it but that's uh, the caveat do our best um, in Romans 12 18 um, I love the way Paul puts it he says um, as far as it depends on you live at peace with all men and that disclaimer as far as it depends on you is so helpful because in some relationships for whatever reason there's just no way that we can restore a peaceful relationship there's no way that we can have reconciliation um, but forgiveness doesn't depend on that we can still forgive without restoring or rebuilding um, that right relationship and forgiveness is a state of heart not a state of the relationship you may not be able to mend the relationship um, but you can always let God help you mend your heart and forgive the person get into a right relationship um, with God and um, in your mind and heart with that person um, and that's what we're called to do so and um, that's tip number two if possible try and mend the relationship try and make right um, tip number three um, and this one's um, really key um, in uh, Hebrews 12 um, 15 Paul, uh, the author sorry we don't know whether it's Paul or not but the author of Hebrews um, basically says don't let a root of bitterness get in um, and I think this is so key this idea of a root is something that starts small don't let it come in so roots start small when they come in um, but then they grow and as we know um, if you've dealt with roots and you've dealt with trees if you've done some gardening they go in a long way they go deep so 
a root is something that starts small, goes deep. Um, but the other thing is a root is something that exists under the soil, it's hidden. So if you're talking about roots in your heart, sorry about all these leaves and branches, go on some quite adventurous walks. <laughs> if you're talking about roots and branches, they, um, the, the branches are visible so we can see them, but the roots are the unseen bit. So when you're thinking about unforgiveness in your heart and bitterness, it tends to start in, in places that aren't that visible. It's very subversive and hard to spot. So just be aware of those roots of bitterness. So what are they in practicality? I kind of think it's these little thoughts that um, that kind of journey gone in your mind where you start to remember the person who hurt you and the ways in which you were hurt and you return to that situation and you start thinking about how wronged you were and how wrong they they were, how how much of a victim you are and how much of a, a criminal they are and, and you start to, to kind of get angry in your mind and your heart, it's like I was really wronged and that's that, that little root just beginning to come in and if you let it take hold and you, you go on that that journey of heart and that journey of mind where you start to um, bring that hurt back into your life, um, that's what creates unforgiveness, that's what creates anger, um, and that does us spiritual damage. Um, it doesn't harm the other person, it harms us spiritually when we do that. So um, that's why we need to be so careful not to let those roots of bitterness um, get in. And um, so that's the third point, don't let the roots in. Um, the fourth tip for walking in unforgiveness is um, to forgive as forgiven people. Um, and when Jesus um, tells a parable in Matthew 18 about the um, servant who is um, greatly forgiven by a king and then um, someone else owes that servant money and they come up and say, oh, please forgive me. Um, it's only a little bit of money this other person owes. Um, and the person's like, no, I'm not forgiving you. Um, Jesus says how angry the king is that um, this person who's been forgiven much won't even forgive someone else a little bit. Um, and that's just like us. Now, um, what does this mean? This means that we've been forgiven eternally. God has paid an eternal debt for us. Um, and even if we feel like we didn't do that much bad stuff in our lives and we've not got that much that we need to be forgiven for, and the truth is God's paid an eternal debt for each of us. He really has. Um, our forgiveness is just incomprehensibly great and and if we can grasp this and understand it this can become our our grounding and our place for going and forgiving other people um, but the problem is we create this hierarchy of sin and we think oh well I've not really done as much bad as this person I need to forgive and we put ourselves on a weighing scale against them and think they're so much morally worse and I'm so much morally better so why on earth should I um, have to forgive this person it's like no because God has forgiven you so much and if we can understand forgiveness and our relationship with God through the right eyes and the right perspective and that will really aid us and help us to forgive the other I think Jesus told this parable not to make us feel guilty or make us feel bad about unforgiveness it was a hint at a way to get into this pattern of forgiveness how to walk in forgiveness it's to recognize I need to go carefully here <laughs> is to recognise how forgiven we are. So that's um, tip number four, um, forgive as a forgiven person. Um, and, oh, this is so beautiful, guys. So I just need to show you this. The light's just coming through the trees over there. Just so gorgeous and green. I'm just out, it's just sunrise, um, and it's just absolutely stunning. Um, so, um, yeah, so forgive as a forgiven person. Tip number five um, is, Sometimes, um, having said all of this, we just don't want to forgive someone. We just feel so deeply hurt, so deeply wronged. It's like, I really, really can't bring myself to, to forgive. This is really, really too difficult. Um, and I think the only thing I'd say here is that um, it's enough to start the journey to just simply want to want to forgive someone. So even if we know we don't actually want to forgive them, if we want to want that because we know that's good for us, it's good for them, it's something that God's called us to, um, that can be enough to start the journey and that's where you can start in that place of prayer and, and approaching God and saying, God, I really don't want to, but please change my heart. And you see that Jesus takes that type of faith, he takes those types of statements and says, yeah, I can work with this. Um, so. Um, just some examples, they're not to do with forgiveness, but some examples that kind of show me that Jesus is aware and sensitive to this and, and can work with this, just this readiness of heart. You're not fully in the place yet. Um, so um, when someone comes up to Jesus and says, Jesus, um, I, I don't believe, but help me in my unbelief. 
um, and it's that kind of confession, I'm struggling with belief, so help me with it. Um, or when you look at Paul and he's talking about how I don't do the things I want to do, that I want to do that, but I'm so con it's kind of this internal conflict. And I think forgiveness can be like this too, and it's just knowing that that tiny little seed of faith can can grow. All we need is just that willingness and that readiness and that openness of heart to let God come and work in our hearts and, and work through us and with us um, um, to bring us into a place where we can forgive. And the stories of forgiveness that you hear are just profound where people have lost family members and um, had all sorts of horrible crimes committed against them and their family and gone on a journey with forgiveness with God and, and managed to come to forgive people. So it really can be done, guys. Um, I just want to pray for us just as we finish up. Um, so Father, I pray for um, forgiveness to live in us, help us to continue to walk in forgiveness. Wherever we've been hurt, help us to heal, Lord, um, and um, be with us as we're people who learn to forgive others. Help us to understand how deeply we've been forgiven. And Father, I pray that you would um, help us to rebuild relationships where they've been broken and give us wisdom as we do that. Help us to know where those boundaries are and what we can do and can't do. Um, but to trust you, Lord, and not to hold debt against people, not to, not to hold um, unforgiveness against people in our hearts because that's gonna damage us and harm us. But help us to be free people who forgive freely and love freely. In Jesus' name, amen. Cool. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I'll be putting videos out every morning um, and uh, that's except for Sundays, of course, because I felt challenged recently not to do them on Sundays. Um, but tune in, um, come and enjoy these videos. If you don't have time to watch a video through, um, just leave it playing and use it like a podcast. Cool. Thank you guys for listening today. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow.